then the first wedding started to come and I was like, oh my God, it actually works perfectly. So Villa Stenberg was established about eight years ago. We came around the property 10 years ago. It's an old farm. We did a huge renovation, renovated the main house for two and a half years. It looks very, very different than when we bought it. So uh, I had an idea uh, when we started, we were thinking of combining this uh, Airbnb style. We can have a nice place for our own holidays and also to rent it. Originally, I guess I didn't dare to think big enough, you know, in terms of like it would become uh, such a popular place for weddings and big celebrations. Once we had finished the yard and, and all the things outside and the glass pavilion that we have, then the first wedding started to come and I was like, oh my God, it actually works perfectly. It's about 15 to 20 between there. The best season is definitely the summer. So starting from May to end of September, we have beautiful terraces, beach and everything. Finnish summer is quite short. I always think that the May beginning of June is like the most beautiful time because when the nature wakes for the new summer, it's absolutely gorgeous. Previous summer, we renovated the old barn. Now we have bigger space Last summer, we also bought that big party tent that fits 60 persons. Before, people were always worried about the rain or if it's too hot because of the sun. So now the tent works both ways. We do have plans uh, for the future, make a new extension, and we are planning to make a big party hall on the lake side of the house. So that would accommodate 50 people to sit down dinner. Small weddings during the fall and winter season, it's mostly cocktail style to about 30 persons. Some people do have just a family dinner. Of course, that works. Typically, I would say that the average size of the weddings that we've had so far is about 50 persons. The biggest party we have for next summer is 100 persons. About a year or a bit less than a year in advance. Now we have started to get the first bookings for 2025. Some people who are early, then they definitely want a certain weekend. Then I would recommend uh, two years in advance. During the summer season, we rent whole weekends. So that means the rental period normally starts on Friday at 3 p.m. And then it ends on Sunday at 12 p.m. It's also possible to, of course, book additional days or it's possible to book a late checkout, like a lot of people want to stay until Sunday evening and so forth. So all of these things are, of course, negotiable. But if you take it from this normal time, like Friday to Sunday and no changes for the check-in, check-outs, then it's about 3,000 euros. And that includes accommodation for eight persons. And it also includes the use of the party tent and the glass pavilion and the bar. We have a wedding arch that is also included in the rent. And we have a lot of, lot of uh, decorative items that you can sort of customize the arch how you want. Then we do charge an additional 25 euros per person if they come just for the day. Then that includes, we provide them dishes like the plates, forks and stuff. And it also includes furniture rent. If there's more people who want to stay overnight, the villa can accommodate maximum of 19 persons. Then we have this, we call it glamping cottage close to the house. It has two beautiful bedrooms and it can accommodate maximum of eight persons. So the glamping cottage and the villa can accommodate 27 persons max. Then uh, it's also possible to book the beach house, which is a separate building right next to the beach, about 70 meters from the house on the other side of the this uh, meadow. That can accommodate 12 persons. Beach house can be rented just for one night if needed, like typically for wedding weekends, people take it for Saturday, Sunday, because extra guests who want to stay overnight or who, who come from far away. So that's about 700 euros uh, for the night, again, depending how many people stay overnight. And then we offer additional services. We can offer hot tubs, both at the villa and at the beach house. We do have catering service. We don't operate it ourselves, but we have a wonderful partner who does it for our guests. Most wedding couples, of course, are very interested in taking catering service and people have been very happy with our partner. 
So typically people pay the booking fee, which is 50% within a week from the booking. If needed, then it can be split into two payments. We are flexible with that. And then the final payment is typically done a month in advance. At that time, people usually say or inform us how many people will be coming, how many people will stay overnight and what additional services they need. Typically people, at least Finnish couples, so it's the maid of honor and the best man, seem to be for most couples or they do have the wedding planner. I am typically there to welcome the guests and then we go through everything that they need to know. Also wedding couples do come to visit in advance at least once. Some people come twice and some people come three times. During those visits we usually go through their ideas, how they want to do things and I give them ideas what others have done and what I think would work for them. So, so typically they have very clear plan on how they are organizing the party. They don't need so much help, but I'm of course always available through phone and I'm there to help if needed. We can recommend definitely both of those. Yes, yes, we have tons of parking space. There's room for, let's say, about 30 cars. normal noise part like dancing laughter normal sound of music that's all right but if you have a very big music equipment we do ask people to turn it down around 10 11 p.m because we are right by a lake along the quiet summer nights the lake is kind of a mirror for a sound because the sound can travel very far along the water in that sense even though we are in a very private location the closest neighbor is about two three hundred meters away you can have a normal background music We have a wonderful Sonos music system, two outside speakers. Yes, absolutely. Most weddings have a band or a DJ. We have a very nice sports academy, only two kilometers from the villa. They host many, many international events there uh, year round. They have both villas and now a brand new hotel. So that's actually perfect because even if you have enjoyed some wine, you know, you can just walk there. It's two kilometers along a wonderful, very small, quiet road just one kilometer from the villa there's additional rental villas it's a different owner there's four villas to be rented and then there's a very nice old mansion bed and breakfast just seven minutes drive from the villa and of course downtown Lohia, which is the closest town is only a bit more than 10 minutes drive away and there's more hotels there Typically, our reservations are binding, but also with that, I am usually flexible because if it's like, let's say, more than six months to the reservations, then I have forced uh, refunded. Take the time and enjoy that wedding. Every summer, we have these people who, who book extra days. It's not only the weekend, because I always remember my own wedding. You put so much effort and so much time into the planning, and that evening, that day and the evening goes so quickly. And then you're like, oh my God, it's over already. So I think that's really our big advantage for us is that people can stay the whole weekend. And people always say to me that, thank you for booking only the, because sometimes people say, can't we only take one day? And I said, that, no, it's the whole weekend. And then they always say after that, thank you for saying that because it really makes a big difference that they can come with their friends and made of honor the night before and take the time to prepare everything and enjoy the atmosphere and so forth. But I think it's a good idea to take even a few more extra days because then you can really fully enjoy the property and not just the hassle of organizing a big party because there's so much there to enjoy. Also, I think what makes our place special is that you can really custom your weddings the way you want because we have the party tent and we have the barn. You can have a beach wedding. You can just bring the art wherever you want. We do have a beautiful, beautiful Asian garden with a Chinese pagoda. There's like all these beautiful locations and it gives so much variety. And especially some people say that, okay, you know, we'll do the ceremony with the priest. We'll do it here at the terrace. Then we're going to do something at the beach. You can plan a very, very wonderful weekend with all kinds of things. You can have the dance at the barn. Like I said, we develop it every year. This winter, we are buying the new wonderful plates and cups and cutlery and so forth and buying new outside furniture. As I've sort of realized that this is the direction we're going. So we do invest every year to make it even better. For couples who are planning wedding for, let's say, 2025. So there will be a lot of new things coming. <laughs>